Hi guys, it's Bryce. Um, so I'm gonna be filming an update, a 2020 update, and it's kind of gonna be a ramble. I don't really know. So I don't really know if anybody's gonna watch this, but this is kind of for myself and other friends. So I just wanted to update like my future self, like what's going on in the past, and like for anybody that watches my channel which this channel died 2018 but sometimes they get comments like saying oh i miss your streams blah 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 so um first off let me get off by saying that no i'm not still playing new leaf as much as i did and i'm only i'm only on new leaf right now just because i like to walk i like to uh, multitask while speaking it helps me think but uh so basically, New Horizons is boring. Let's get off by saying that. It's just not the same as New Leaf. There's the online, like, connectivity with other people. It really isn't the same. Harder to make friends and stuff. And I think I might still upload a few Animal Crossing videos that that's, like, giveaways and stuff. Because Braxton was doing that. And, um, uh, he was... It was pretty successful. People were still watching his channel. And I think I might make an Instagram like for that as well to get more noticed because I just want to put out content. Like I like to save memories and this year has been a really absent year for all social medias for me besides Discord. And I feel like I'm losing the chance to save memories and I'm gonna be looking back at this like 10 years later from now like, oh my God, I did this. Oh my God, I'm so done. Like, you know what I mean? And I like filming videos and putting it out. It's like a little archive for me to look back at. And it's fun when sometimes people watch. But I feel like if I were to like film videos now, nobody's gonna really watch. And it's just gonna be me talking to myself with nobody. But um, I kind of just want to go back to my roots on like myself. Because I feel like last year I just wasn't the same. And this year like definitely mid quarantine like or no prime quarantine i just like i was different and i miss my old self like 2017 2018 how i was filming i was much nicer i had less friends which we i want to talk about so discord um basically i want to talk about discord personally to get this off my mind so discord um so i was told to come on discord uh, February 2019 which was a big mistake which a lot of drama well not at first a little bit of drama happened at first but once quarantines started like a year later there was a lot of drama going on between my friend group and I and that's it's also my fault I'm not gonna sit here and act like oh my god I'm so perfect I don't do anything wrong because I did add to that drama everyone added to that drama nobody can say that but, um, I think I'm getting to the point where Discord just doesn't interest me anymore. I'm done with the drama. I'm, I basically, like, left my friend group, if you even call it a friend group, it was really toxic. We were, we were all pretty toxic to each other. Um, I just think I would need to go back to playing, like, games and stuff. Um, because Discord was not it. It, it. It was very, like, stressful. Like, I know it's just Discord, but when, like, you're going on there, like, to get away from your real life and to talk to people and all there is is drama, it really makes you stressed out and really anxious, and that's how it made me feel. And I just feel like I'm learning that maybe I shouldn't have as much friends. I feel like keeping minimal, close, trustworthy friends is the best thing to do, and I think that's what I'm going to do, make new friends or and keep the ones that are trustworthy and nice to me and I'm nice to them because that friend group, I don't know, it was just a mistake and it still continues to happen. Like the drama still continues to happen. It's slowed down. It slows down, but it picks back up again and then it slows down. It, it starts up and stops. Like it's, it's constant. It's, it's very toxic. But now I'm just rambling. This isn't even an update video. This is me just rambling. Um, so basically i'm done with discord that's out of the way i've bar i'm not getting on it as much as i was which i think is a really good thing it, it is it can be very addicting at times 
but I also want to film like ACNH live streams. I just want to go back to the channel's roots. I'm probably not going to be filming like at all, barely, but um, I don't know. I don't really know where this video was going. I really do not know, but uh, I think I'm just gonna like put content out there. I don't really know. Um, if you're watching this at this point, I'm surprised because this is boring as fuck and I really don't know. Oh my god, who's this redheaded bitch? Ew. I really love this game. Honestly, I think this game is still fun seven years later and after ACNH. ACNH was crap. It's not. They ruined our Animal Crossing game. It's just not the same. ACNL will forever remain the best game. But, um, oh, we have a hacker. Or no, we don't. People is just fucking putting bells out here. But I also still might make ACNH, ACNL hacking videos. Because ACNL, yes, it is dead. But people still watch hack, like, hacking videos and giveaway videos. So I think that's my, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I like giving, um, I like giving to people. It's, it makes me feel good, I guess. And never mind, it is hacked. Fuck. This game literally got destroyed by hackers. But, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna end this video here because I really don't know what to say. I really don't even know what this video was. This is literally just me rambling, but okay, bye.